Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for coming on back. We are talking about the Vanessa palette and not this Vanessa, because I'm also a Vanessa, Vanessa Gaima. I hope I'm saying her last name right, but she collaborated with Juvia's Plays to create this beautiful palette. And of course, I really enjoy her content and I could not resist getting a Vanessa palette. So I had to pick this one up. It's only 15 bucks. I think it's a really great price point. You get six eyeshadows, four mattes, a shimmer and kind of like a pearlescent sort of shade. So this is a look I created and I'm gonna walk you step by step through this look and yeah, let's start. As always, we've got one eye already done and we are working on the opposite eye. We're gonna start with this tan shade down here in the corner. We're using a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna give the eye a wash of color with this shade. I've been liking to start off with like a little wash of color because I feel like it adds a nice little base for the rest of the shadows. So it's just something I've kind of been into lately. I'm going in with a more densely packed eyeshadow brush and we're gonna be working with the orange and the pink matte shades down here at the bottom. We're gonna do one half of the lid orange and one half of the lid pink. And I'm really just packing this on, I'm tapping it in so we get the maximum color payoff. That's a great way to get really good color payoff. And of course, with Juvia's Place, these eyeshadows are really, really nicely pigmented, even the matte shades. I've just cleaned off my brush and now I'm gonna go in with the pink shade. And I'm bringing this one all the way out to that outer corner. And as usual, I'm also going just above my natural crease. And these are meeting in the middle, but I'm not really mixing them in the middle. So they're meeting, but I'm not doing any swiping motions to really like mix them together. They're just kind of meeting there. I'm gonna go in with a little blending brush and we're going back to that tan color just to blend out these lines here at the top. So we're really just focusing on blending this over. And I'm also using the tan to blend the end of that pink out into more of like a cat eye shape. And as we know with Juvia's, these are blendable as well as pigmented. So everything that we'd expect from Juvia's Place, we are getting in this palette. And I'm also just gonna lightly blend this upward just so that the color is nice and seamless. We're gonna stick with this brush and we're gonna go in with this brown shade here and just darken that outer corner. I'm just blending it into the pink and I love that even though these colors are really sort of different, they're very complementary. They really go nicely together. Even though we've got, you know, a lot of different shades in here, you can create a lot of different looks and not have to worry about them clashing. And you can also get some nice depth and dimension with the range of colors that are in here. And now I'm just gonna lightly blend this brown over a little bit and up. We're sticking with that brown, but I'm just gonna use a more pointed eyeshadow brush and just bring it over a little more into the crease. So just deepening this crease area a little more. So now we're gonna work with the only two glittery, shimmery sort of shades, which are at the top. One of them is slightly more orange toned and one of them is slightly more pink toned. This perfectionist shade is more of like a pearly, sort of eyeshadow versus um, extra, which is more of a shimmer, at least to me. So I'm gonna go in with extra on top of the orange and perfectionist on top of the pink. And when I did this eye, I did find that they applied better when they were damp. So I'm just gonna get some on my brush. So I'm gonna start with extra and just spray it with a little bit of water. And then I'm just gonna tap it on top of that orange. You can see that color payoff is really, really nice. And even though this is orange tone, it's like an orangey pink kind of shimmer. So I think that it goes really well with both of these shades that are already on the lid. I love layering a shimmer on top of a matte because I think sometimes it just gives it a little more impact and depth versus, you know, just on the naked eye. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Perfectionist and I'm doing the same thing. I've got some shadow on my brush and I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of water 
and I'm going to use this on the outer half of the lid. And you can see this one is kind of a more pink toned versus the first color. And I just really like how these shimmers kind of commingle together. They look different, but they look similar. So I think they play really nicely together because they kind of are very alike, but also have that just slight difference. They're so pretty. So now I'm using a little detail brush. And I'm going to go back in with that pink and just add a little bit more on the very outer edge where we've lost a little bit by covering it with the shimmer just to bring back some of that dimension. And I'm just tapping it on. And once I've got enough, I'll just go ahead and clean off my brush and just blend it inward. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the brown. So just adding a tiny bit more color where we've lost some. And last but not least, we're gonna do a little brow bone highlight using that same tan from the very beginning and a really big fluffy eyeshadow brush. And we're just gonna buff that under the brow bone. So just a very, very light highlight here. And I like to take it in just to soften any harsh lines that may be there and down. And taking a brush with a little leftover concealer, we're just gonna sharpen that outer edge. So I'm just gonna press it in and bring it up. And basically just using it as sort of an eraser to clean up anything that's down there that we don't want down there. Now let's just dust off the under eye powder. I did notice that there is some fallout with these glitters. It's not anything that is gonna ruin your makeup, but that is something to be aware of that you may experience some fallout with the glitters. Let's add a little bit of mascara and some lashes. And for the lash, I'm gonna go with the Ardell Wispy because I don't know, I kinda wanna keep it light and fun today. So this is the final look. Of course, I couldn't resist going with a nude lip, but I really, really enjoyed this palette. I hope that you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every single Tuesday and Friday and hit that notification bell so you can be first to know when there is a new video and I'll see you next time. Bye.